Hey Ladybug, so I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I style my curly hair and how I get my gorgeous curls to pop. I also wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about how this hair is going and how I'm loving this hair so far. So yeah, stay tuned. Bye. I wore her on vacay. I went to Panama City Beach and I also have a vlog um, as well as pictures. If you guys follow me, follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen the pictures that I posted three weeks ago or four weeks ago. As well as if you guys have seen my Panama Beach vlog, you guys noticed that I had this hair in as well. Um, so yeah, I wore it on vacay just like I did the Malaysian curly on vacay. And I really just wanted to put this hair through the ringer because I know it's so hard to find A1 quality curly virgin hair that's just not going to give you any problems, it's just easy to deal with, just wet it and go. So I really wanted to put this hair through the ringer. One or two days that I actually put the hair in a ponytail because I just got tired of being in the ocean, going underneath the ocean, then coming back out and the hair all over my face. So for the most part, the five days we were down there my hair was down um it did not mat up on me it did tangle a little bit but it only tangled on the ends and i found that to be kind of funny that i would think because my hair is much bigger up here that it would um there would be some sort of problems combing off combing or brushing all the way down but it actually wasn't i would get like these little knots at the 
hair um, and that was the only thing even now that I'm having to deal with is I can comb or brush through my hair completely when it is wet but I just get these little dry knives and they just get on the ends of the hair that's one of the bad things that you know is associated with curly hair you're gonna get those little matte balls especially if you have the unit installed in your head and you don't um you don't take it off at night because usually i take my units off at night but i like i said i wanted to put this hair through the ringer so i didn't do that um but anyways so wore this hair on the beach did not mat up on me it did tangle a little bit but which i expected with curly hair especially when taking it out um what else did not see strands of hair all over the bathroom floor. Overall, just amazing, gorgeous, pretty, sexy hair. Even in its dry state. I mean, it just gave me sexiness all day long. so much sexiness honey that everybody was like yes honey where you come from you are gorgeous your hair is, ooh, is that your real hair I had to say no mm -mm, but shh, you ain't gotta tell um, <laughs> the hair does get very very dry people loved this hair I mean so many and I mean even when I was in the ocean like when I would just get up out of the ocean honey and just all these gorgeous curls just popping and just giving giving the bitches on the beach life just giving bitches on the beach life i mean <laughs> words just cannot express how wonderful and gorgeous this hair was on the beach and it was so convenient i mean i i just didn't have to do anything to my hair that was so convenient for me didn't have to wet my hair um, throughout the day but I would have to wet my hair every day because the hair does get really really dry and I think that's one of the things that I did not do too well with was keeping the hair um, conditioned and um, and pretty wet or moisturized I mean, I think that's probably the reason why I got those little dry knots at the end when it was time to take my hair down and um, wet it or wash it or whatever now I personally don't like to drench my hair in water but this hair I honestly have to drench it in water in order for me to reduce the amount of shedding um, or tangling because like I said those little balls come and they come they, they create more if the hair is not wet or if the hair is not saturated in some sort of product or conditioner I noticed that you get more of a tangle at the ends at the end starting about right there so what I have to do like I said is just drench my hair in water I don't like to do that but I would rather do that than keep trying to brush or comb through my curls and you know it's just getting tangles and tangles and tangles so yes you do have to wet this hair but this hair reacts just like any other curly hair that somebody may have curly hair is going to tangle it's curly hair so don't think because your hair tangles or it mats up a little bit it's bad hair no it's just that it's curly hair and it requires a little bit more special handling and a little bit better of a hair care regimen which leads me to what I do um, now my Malaysian hair I really didn't have to wash like that because the curl pattern wasn't like this I mean the curl pattern was a little bit looser and that's another thing this curl pattern is very not very tight but it is more formed than the Malaysian curly so what I did was I went out to Walmart and I co-washed my hair twice a week and like I said I've had this unit in for almost a month now and I wash this hair twice a week because I just don't like the way it looks when I use this product 
when I use it too much as well as the Jeanfreda Frizz Ease spray that I love but it leaves the hair hard so I stay away from that a little bit but this gives me that wet look all day long and I do love this Moroccan curling perfecting dream curl this is a wonderful product to make your curls pop but not good to use every single day because it will build up on your hair and that's what I was doing at the beginning especially when I was on the beach so I found myself going to Walmart and I picked up this Tresemme um, curl hydration for curly hair or wavy hair it looks like this and this hair loves this Tresemme. I mean, when I, I wash my hair when I'm in the shower and I apply a good handful, I mean, I apply a lot of conditioner because I want the hair to be saturated and conditioned and I want it to be um, easy to comb through. And once I do that, you know, I put it into sections. I put it into sections of twos. I put the conditioner on my hand, rub it together, and just rub it through my hair making sure my hair is really saturated now you guys know I love my little curling brush but I don't use that in the shower I use my wide tooth comb and I just comb through my hair making my way to the ends just going all the way down and I promise you if you have enough conditioner on your hair that comb will just go through your curls bam 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 I mean no tangling no shedding nothing I mean as long as your hair is saturated you shouldn't experience any type of um, tangling or shedding but like I said if not you will experience a little bit of that because this is the type of hair where you do have to get a little bit more saturated with water or product in order for you to be able to comb or brush through your hair and like I said I co-wash my hair twice a week now I usually wash my hair when I'm about to take a shower so the first thing I do is go ahead and work on my hair before I even lavender up the body <laughs> but um yeah so I use the Tresemme I let the Tresemme sit on my hair for probably about 10 10 to 13 minutes and then I'll go ahead and um of course take my shower in the process of doing so but even after even after I wash you know even after I've taken my shower I still let the conditioner sit in a little bit longer and I comb through it again you know combing through it again to make sure it's well conditioned well saturated with conditioner then I rinse it off and I get out and I let it air dry I don't um, I don't mess with it I don't do anything to it no product no nothing now I have used a diffuser which I do like and I use that every now and then especially when I have to go somewhere in the morning I really don't want to go somewhere with just a head full of water just dripping everywhere so I do use my diffuser and I'll put a picture of my diffuser that I got from Sally's but anyways I do use that and it does define the curls a little bit better but I don't I didn't really see a big difference so um, I just basically use it when I don't want to walk around with just wet hair uh, what else this brush is really good to use to define your curls. I got my brush from Sally's and it is the Denman brush. You guys probably can't see that, but it's a Denman brush and I use this brush whenever I have product in my hair as the organic dream curling perfecting perfection. Or when I just got out the shower and I know my hair is well saturated with conditioner, I'll just use the brush and just brush down my hair. Like you guys seen on a previous video when I was showing out this hair. Um, and I just don't mess with it anymore. What else? Now as far as my edges, I just left my perimeter out because I really wanted the pushback. I really wanted to do the, there's something like that. You know, you guys know Ivy. Hey Ivy. Hey boo. Um, <laughs> but she does the over the hair, the no, the no part method with her hair just over. And I think that's just so gorgeous. And, um, I think at times with the part, the curls, the part with curly hair could just be played out. So, um, I just used her method and I just applied the closure behind my hairline and I just left my edges out and basically on my edges what I use is the cream of nature Oregon oil uh, perfect edges I switched to this because the organic um, 
edge control just really left my hair with white residue just left my hair feeling very hard I felt like it was putting a lot more pressure on my edges and you guys know my edges are very very thin and I'm still working on that so I just felt like it wasn't a healthy product for my edges so I switched to this and I do love this so far, um, which is like a yellowish, like a yellow color. It's very soft. Um, probably within, probably tonight when it's time for me to go to bed, my hair is back soft. Um, it's not necessarily stuck to my head like, um, like the organic stimulator um, edge control is. So I do like this. And I got mine from Walmart for $4.99. A little later next month and do a final update um i'm going to try to find the strength to take this hair out and do other company reviews because i have worn this hair um for a pretty good while in order to come and give you guys a feedback on the hair so um yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next video and stay tuned for pictures bye